Hi everyone, it's Angry Turtle live. At least we're supposed to be live now, hopefully you can hear me. And we'll be diving into No Man's Sky again. That's a break between a Fallout session, because all weekend we are back to the Fallout. Then today we are playing No Man's Sky, as we are attempting to complete the Atlas questline. Then that's the, that's the goal, to do the Great Reset in the world of Matrix. I think it was something like that about the story. Then we'll be attempting to do that. All right. What do we have in here? I need to start the No Man's Sky. Launch No Man's Sky. Reload in. And we'll see how, how it will go. I hope your evening is great or afternoon, depending on the time zone. All right, now I need to fix the camera to let you see the game. All right, and like that and that. Yep, that will do it. Load my save. Yes, Bourbon, that's a very good advice. If you try to unplugging it and plugging it back in again. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we are attempting to do. We try to unplug our universe and plug it in again. Yeah, the Steel Dawn was really good quest line. I heard a lot of complaint that it was short, but it was intended to be short, like it was never said it will be long. It's still like a solid four to five hours of gameplay in there, then that's not too bad. And a big part of the DLC was basically uh, shelters, although those are not perfect. I see how they could improve it, but yeah, we, we have what we have for now. All right, what, what I'm doing, let me see my inventory in here. Uh, yeah, it's always overloaded with everything. Do I need to carry all those microprocessors? I probably can craft them. Yeah, they're easy to craft. Then I don't need to carry any of the microprocessors with me. And a lot of other stuff is not needed for anything. But this is... Oh, this is to be broken. That doesn't serve any purpose. Then let's break it all. Okay, managed to make room out of that. And I have some S-Shield module that I don't need to carry. I need to store some stuff somewhere. Let's for now uh, transfer it to Exosuit and from Exosuit we can store some stuff in here. Okay, what can we store? I uh, have a lot of weird junk, like we store this meat, uh, this S-Shield. This Carvax and other stuff, I don't know what this is even doing. Mm. That's not enough from OA. A class module. Uh, ferrite dust and pure ferrite dust with very small quantities and just discard it. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe that will be enough room for the quest line. I don't know what else I can do. Oh, the mold supposed to go to extractor. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was multiplying indium. I figured out how to make more. If you guys have ever problem with all those rare minerals like indium, indium is one of them. Other one, it's in this one. Emeril. As you can see, recipe is simple. Chromatic metal with emeril does duplicate the emerald and of course chromatic metal is easy to get emerald is not then that's a simple solution that i found as i found out that a couple times i was running low on those resources and i hate go after planets of specific color to dig them out and now i have a couple thousands of each i duped it it's a legal duping in this game everything is in this game normal like what in Fallout is considered exploiting, here it's normal. <laughs> that's, that, that's really interesting aspect of this game. 
It's normal there are recipes for duping. Okay. Doing some of those. Uh, do I need to manage that? Yeah, viscous fluids. Do I have any to load in that? Any goo? I don't see any. I think I ran out. Okay, then we just load into further extractors. Viscous fluids here. Living slime to the next one. Living slime go into this one. And this we load into different extractor on other side and then we can try and go for the great reset. I uh, see more people is tuning in. Uh, let me check the chat for a second. Uh, hello, the Nagi Proof, uh, James Goodhall, Cat Cat, Nuka, Jace, Nuka Jones, Ares Flat, XXX Marte, uh, Nano, Mr. Apple, Super Supervisor. Welcome, guys, to the live stream. Uh, no, I don't need Atlas Pass anymore. I have them. I did manage to unlock them finally and I crafted them and I even crafted a couple more than I needed. As you can see, yes, I have them. I have like two of Atlas Pass V1. Then later on I figure out uh, there is no reason to have more than one. I was thinking those are consumables. And that, that's the reason I had more than one. Okay, let's take the viscous fluids. Load them in here. Load the viscous fluids. Take the living slime out. Take the mole out and load more living slime. Load it in. Kaboom. And another one. And here we load runaway mold to produce some more nanites. Okay. I think that's managed. Let's save it. Let's make sure we are on the quest. Uh, the purge. Bridge, bridge. Locate and enter the final portal. Uh, as I did the boring part, like I did all those jumps after last live stream. And now we have some action, hopefully. Need to find the final portal, then that seems like an action. And okay, which ship we are taking now? My, my little one. This one. We're taking cute shell with us. That's my the, my best ship, and let's go. All right, uh, are we going there? That's the quest. Now that's some abandoned building. Uh, that's not the quest. That's the quest. Final interface portal. Let's go. Reset the matrix. What? Don't break. Go. Yeah, the continuing voyage of Space Turtle. Oh, 3000 hours in 76, I see. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, I, I will never be burned out of 76, but I don't play it without a break. I do other things as well. Okay, that's the final portal. Uh, can we open those? Yeah, I can open those. I have this. I have this Atlas Pass. I can open all of those containers. And surprisingly, you can access them in third person. Not like in Fallout, it's really hard to access anything. Here you can. All right, is it the final portal? Oh, we need to recharge it again. I hope I took everything. Okay, sodium, cobalt, copper, carbon, sodium, cobalt. Ah, I can actually use indium. That's the cheapest in this case. Okay, recharging everything. Okay. 
This is weird that every time you found those portals, you need to choke in like a bunch of bunch of random minerals. Done. 16, 16, 16, here we go. Where's another 16? No, not the crash. Ah. That's the part I don't like about this game. It's like it likes to crash from time to time. All right, here we go. Restart. Not responding. And task. And launch again. Okay. Hopefully, it saved the game when I exited the starship, and we don't need to fly there again. Uh, I have no clue what Great Reset meant, actually. We'll figure it out, but the uh, universe is broken and it does... What? Okay, it is here. I should close the control panel. Okay, it will work now. Fingers crossed. It will work. Oh, complete letters, you found a cool camp spot where you can build camp on an existing checkpoint. And two brotherhoods in at all times. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, not moving my main camp for sure, because I'm not good at camp building. Luckily, in No Man's Sky, I don't need to build too much. There are options to build huge structures if someone wants to, but I can use just my freighter as a home base. It's much more handy as it can move with you. And shouldn't it load already? Why is it taking so long? Oh, come on, game. Don't let me down. Okay, it's loading. Okay, we are on the planet. Red planet. All right, red planet loaded. Okay, then we just need to charge the portal again. Everything else is safe. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. We can do that. Recharge, recharge. Quick recharge of the technology in progress. Okay, couple more. We did it once. Hopefully, we are doing it the last time. <laughs> no crash, please. I don't want to keep recharging that. Okay. Will it work? Okay, now we have all three 16s. And Atlas Protocol initi initialized. Okay, good. The portal is doing what portal does and we activate it. Okay, here we go. Ready. Alright. Portal opened. Let's see this computer. Let's see the universe. Okay, we go in. The purple, pink, and all the colors teleportation. No, I didn't try Star Citizen myself. Okay, that's a long teleportation. Where are we going? Oh, something is happening. There was a sound. Another sound. Okay. We are on the planet. Okay. 
And what now? That's not a plant. I don't know what now. No quest. Oh, there's a countdown. Countdown for what? Oh, the portal is reactivating? No? I don't know if I'm supposed to do something. I don't know. The countdown finished. So look the same like all the Atlas stations. I was expecting it to be bigger than his friends. Okay, we speak with Atlas then. Let's see. Atlas. Cry out. Atlas is silent, keep crying. Call him. More answer. Okay, that's this atlas is not very talkative. Come on. Oh, he's talking. Traveler, submit. Okay, I don't like this narration. They have really weird approach for that. <laughs> Not a big fan. Reset simulation. Oh. There was a reset button. I did reset it. And what now? A new galaxy awaits. New beginnings. What's over there? I press the reset button. Okay. What are those? Creation. A relentless galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death it wishes to show me its past its future reset okay what is that atlas simulation the galaxy. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> Moving faster and faster. It is big. Hopefully no one have epilepsy. There's a lot of flashing lights. Okay, I don't know what's going on now. I think we, we're waiting. It's like a little bit less stars. Oh. Nope, nothing. Just show us the galaxy. Keep going. More of the galaxy. And 
New Galaxy Discovered. Calypso Galaxy. Alright. The animation is quite long. They took their time with that. Unless it's loading, I don't know. It's just an animation. Or is it... Do that double jab as a loading screen. Oh, LG Babe. Yeah, that's another shield. Thank you. That, that's a new one. Okay. I'm somewhere. New system first contact. Community research. New technology discovered. Remembrance. A relic of another place. Don't know what is that for, but we have new recipe. We can craft it. Everything you ever knew is within. Okay. Then we can we can craft it. Oh why my stuff is broken? All my stuff is broken. Starship out of range. Oh, Starship is broken too. They broke my stuff. That's... That's not fair. My, all my stuff is broken. Oh, seriously, I will need to fix it all now. And I can craft this new... Not the capture nano. Where is this new stuff? Uh, soul engine? No, not the soul engine. Heart of the sun? Nope. Modified quanta? I don't know. Which was the new stuff? I have heart of the sun. I crafted before. I don't know even why. And. Where's this new one? This new one that shows me recipe. I don't see it. I don't see the new stuff. Unless it's a technology? Oh, that's a technology remembrance. What does it do? Okay, that's a new technology. Then yeah, I, I craft it. Okay, I craft this new technology. Don't know why, but yet here we go. Uh oh. I think extreme damage. I don't want to die yet. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. And this is weird planet. Where is my ship? Summon my ship. Everything's broken. But I can still summon it. Yeah, I can still summon it just fine. Then we can hide inside and think what we can do as everything is broken. Alright, we're inside. Safe and sound. Now, why is everything broken? What happened with the quest? Find the next Atlas interface. Okay, how many Atlas interfaces I need to find? Okay, the Atlas path is not over. I need to find another Atlas interface. How do I need to reset those Atlas interfaces in every galaxy? Hmm. This storm is clearing. Okay, that's everything is all right. We just need to fix everything, but I'm rich. Then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Oh wait, this is not broken. This is broken. In general, tap everything is broken, and the technology is just fine. Okay then, it's not too bad. Just need to fix this stuff. 
and I have resources to repair at least some. Then we try to fix what we can. And I had a repair kit in the past, but I don't know for what those repair kit w were supposed to be used. Then what I can fix with stuff I have, uh, I don't have wiring looms and I don't think I can craft them. Those are from the space station. Yeah, then first what we do, we fly to the new space station, do the necessary repairs. Oops, not down, up. Do the necessary repairs. All right. The space anomaly, visit your old friends. Okay, space station, where are you? There, okay. I see, I see. We are going to the space station, fix everything. Remembrance gives you another HP bar and allows you to access Remembrance terminals. Oh, that's useful. Repair kit used to change a result is signs of repair to be taken instead of resource. Oh, that's how repair kit works. Okay. I have most of the resources on my freighter, but it's easier if they are selling them, then we can just buy it. They give me some use to all my resources now. <laughs> okay. Space station. Everything seems fine after reset. <laughs> New galaxy, the old one reset. After we reset the entire world, it will be game over. I don't know if it's possible, but... Oh, they selling the goo. We'll buy that. And... I was in need of wildling looms. I don't know how many I should buy, but... Not this button, how to... Okay, which button was to... Ah, just... Oh, E. E. Spam E, we buy 20. That should be enough for some basic repairs. Let's see what need to be repaired. Okay, we have wiring looms. All the technology are getting back in action. Those are mostly like common materials, luckily. Then they shouldn't have too much issue with fixing that. One after another, the weapons are important. We need to be able to defend ourselves, but it was fun last time. <laughs> shooting all those shooting all those sentinels and other stuff with my ship. One shooting them basically all. And they were not able to do anything to me. Good that I duped those. <laughs> Otherwise it will be a trouble. Okay, shields. Shields are easy. Mainly those need that those wiring looms that's about everything that's rare i mean rare that's you cannot craft and you need to take it from the space station look at that everything will be fixed in no time and then i can see what this quest is all about after we did one reset okay that's the ship now the exosuit the uh, situation is not very good Carbon nanotubes will be required. I can craft a bunch of carbon nanotubes. Uh, Still, so just require carbon. And we do 10 na carbon nanotubes. And that should help. Should I keep it? For now, I will keep it. That's weird X class module that I get somewhere. All right. Luckily, I can craft microprocessors already. Repair it. Oh, what's that? 
uh, superior translator part. Uh, can I craft it? Oh, I can't. Where do I get it from? Doesn't look like I can craft it. Are they selling it at space station? Uh, nope. Okay, they're not selling it in here. Uh, the Starship vendors? Are they selling that? Hello, Starship vendors, wait for me. Let's see what you are selling. Buy items. And nope. No one is selling that stuff. Why? How do I obtain that? Quantum, oh, that's quantum computer that I need to probably buy it somewhere. Pretty sure they should be selling that on the space station. Why are they not selling that? I was buying that in the past, this quantum computers. Are you selling quantum computers? No? It's plating, batteries, microprocessors. Maybe I need some rich system or whatever, I don't know. Definitely someone sooner or later will sell me those quantum computers. Uh, Corvax cube. Oh wow, they... They require weird stuff to some of those repairs. Not sure if I still have any Corvax cubes. Okay, the jetpack I care about then hopefully it will be... Oh, the hydrogen out? The hydrogen was from where? The hydrogen. The hydrogen. Okay, I forgot if station is selling that or not. Okay, let's try to fix some other stuff. All of that required the hydrogen. Drowling wiring. Can I craft it? Are they selling the hydraulic wiring? What are you selling again? Yeah, the couple ingredients is not so easy to get. You not, but I think the station was selling something more. Let's try this guy, maybe. What are you selling? Nope. No dihydrogen. No components I need. The hydrogen, what I need. What was in here? And it's a bunch of junk. Oh, hydraulic wirings, they do have it by 10. And no dihydrogen, nope. Okay, but we have something. And there will be some progress. No dihydrogen though. Okay, inst let's install first what I can. And then we'll be... Oh, more wiring looms? Already ran out of those 10? Then let's buy another 10. Wiring looms. Another 10. I will drain this space station from all those resources. I'm out on everything. Repaired. Awesome. Shields are very important. Repaired. Another one. Done. Another one. Oh, damage. The batteries. An out of iron batteries. Are you selling iron batteries? I, I think I can craft them or not. Can I craft iron batteries? Yes, I can. And that's cheap to craft. Okay, let's go for like five batteries. And keep going. Another one. Uh, what's that? Antimatter. Okay. Craft antimatter. 
antimatter. Do I need more antimatter? I should take a look on other components. No, I'm good. Done. Then I will have almost everything up and running. It's not too bad. Uh, and as Vlad is saying, you can learn quantum computer like Atlas Pass, raid Sentinel factories. Okay, we'll raid some factory then. That will be probably easier than chase it over the stations. And we need to grab some dihydrogen and Corvax cube. Where is dihydrogen from? Only from planet? I think it was some other source of dihydrogen. Is it any crafting recipe? I cannot remember now. Is it like any crafting recipe for dihyd dihydrogen? Is there like hydrogen that I can upgrade or something? A bunch of walker brains. Mm. I don't know. I don't remember. Do you guys know where the dihydrogen comes from, apart from mining it on the planet? Yes, this game is online, you can play with others, although it offers a single player as well, then it's a combo, like, you can do either way. It's a base mineral, then you cannot craft it, okay. Yeah, I know those are blue crystals. Oh, dihydrogen jelly I can craft. Oh, wait a second. Dihydrogen jelly, how much it requires to craft. You know, this game is quite odd. It's 40 to craft dihydrogen jelly. And... Refiner. This gold is doing. If I put dihydrogen in here, what does it do? Uh, oh, it's 30. It's cheaper than 30. I guess if you can break this jelly, then back to dehydrogen and get some surplus. As there is a lot of duping in this game by crafting and scrapping and recrafting, or maybe combination of dihydrogen jelly with oxygen to make more of that. I don't know. I will need to try. Or buy on some space station. Maybe some space stations will, sh will sell it. But first, I will check if I have any supply in my ship. Oh, maps. Yeah, I need to learn those recipes. Then we'll buy some maps as we are at it. Cartographer, give me maps. And we want to raid factories. And those were the planetary charts. Then let's buy 10 of those. I can use them later. Cartographic data. I don't know what the commercial, alien, emergency. Yeah, I think those is the important one. Okay, I don't want to buy too many, as this will just take a lot of space. Okay, I don't even know exactly what I did by resetting this universe, and where I am, and whatever is going on, to be honest. Let's maybe take a look on the map for a second. Where are we? Uh, Calypso Galaxy. Oh, I changed the galaxy. By resetting, I jump to a different galaxy. Okay, then we are exploring different galaxy to look for more Atlas stations. Okay, that's fun. We'll definitely look for more, but first, let's see if my freighter is with me. Is my freighter with me? Yes, it is. Nice. My freighter is with me. Then that will be helpful. That will be definitely helpful.
Now, you can refine dihydrogen jelly into hydrogen, okay? I knew there would be something crazy like that. Yeah, I just went from Euclid Galaxy to Calypto Galaxy. How many galaxies in this game is there to explore? Is there like a lot of galaxies or there's a couple? Because I don't know how much it looks like a real universe. Because in real universe there's, there are like, I don't know, millions, billions of the galaxies. There is definitely more than you can ever visit. Okay, mm. let's see what I have on the freighter. Nope. Storage containers. And we are looking for anything that can give me the hydrogen without looking for it on the planet. Although it's not hard to find it, it's easier... Can I break it? No. It's easier if I will have it. I'm not sure. I didn't see any. Nope. Unless on some other starship of mine. I can try. I have some storage uh, storage ships. Then I can see that. Okay. Those are my ships that serve me at this moment as a storages for different resources. Let's see, and I need Corvax cubes as well. What I have them explosive drones, might control stuff, quad servers. I don't even know what those will be for. <laughs> Radiator unit, uh, yeah, Herox, Lemnium. Nothing on this ship, unless I can, I can break it into some ingredients. No, it doesn't look like okay, then not on this one. Let's see now, Cargo Shell 2. Cargo Shell 2. And we have some Corvac casings. I store them in other places. Well, then let's take them from here. Let's keep all the Corvax casing in one place. Uh, cube. I need a cube, I think. There, there is a cube. And... Dihydrogen. Oh, I have seven dihydrogen. <laughs> That always something, piece by piece. Uh, seven dihydrogen. Do I have any dihydrogen jelly? Uh, nope, I do not see it here. Vortex cube. I don't know if this will be needed for anything, but let's take all the cubes. The cubes seems to be occasionally useful. Okay, that's another storage. And next storage, that's my fighter that waiting for upgrade, uh, waiting for upgrades, that upgrades are expensive, then it need to keep waiting. There is activated emerald, a lot of those, some other stuff. Oh, I have some computer. You see? Found something already. <laughs> have the computers, then more dihydrogen jelly. Nope. I just need a couple, then I, I will need to visit the planet after all. Then we'll figure out how to dupe it and stop mining it. Because this game is all about duping that is legal. It's part of the game. Like, duping in No Man's Sky is actually part of the game. And it's not an exploit. It's by design. Okay, then do I need to go back there? No. I need to go back to my ship. So we need to go down on the planet. Oh, right. First, what can I fix with stuff that I already have on me? Uh, yep, I have quantum computer for that. I don't even know how useful those auto translators are, but... And we have the cube to fix that. I have no clue where I have this cube from, then it better not break again. Okay, dihydrogen is not available. Oh, it says that I have dihydrogen. Really? Then let's see, can I can I put it in here? Oh, let's see if I can... Oh, it's one minute. But let's see if we'll be able to dupe it. Uh, after that, I will load the jelly in here and we'll see if we'll get more dihydrogen than we invested into it. 
Uh, it says that I still have it. Really? No, I don't have it. Then how is it that it says in here that I have the hydrogen when I don't? Don't know what radon is for. Okay, no clue actually. But that's fine. Let's get on board of the ship. Oh, my backpack is smoking. I wasn't playing too much in third person. I didn't realize that this <laughs> refinery in my backpack is actually smoking. Okay, save the game first. And then go. Alright. Be safe in space. Let's see again. Alright. Yeah, we, we do have it. Now if I load this jelly as an input... 1 to 50! Yeah, it's duping it! I'm getting almost twice as much! And this is no time! Then only one way it's taking time, then way back is free! Awesome! I got it! The hydrogen will be duped in no time! Okay, now the maps. Uh, maps. Use it. Okay, where do we have it? Somewhere in there? Yep. Resource depot. Oh, we don't want resource depot. Mm, if I use the map again, will it reset it? I mean, those maps are for free anyway. I can try it. Don't need to ask. I will just try it. Will it give me different one? Reset, please. Oh, I have... Yeah, I have green one. Oh, then I can scan for more. What if I do it three times? Experiments. Uh, nothing. Maybe three times is not a good idea. Yeah, I use the consume the map, but I can. It look like there will be probably only one of each on the planet. Then I will grab the green one and go to different planet. I'm getting 20 every time I recycle the jelly, not 10. I'm al al almost doubling it up. Whoops, I supposed to land there. I'm um, flying and reading the chat, that's not good. Okay, back there. Have the landing pad here. All right. I think I have most of my stuff already fixed. Then it should be just fine. Where's the entrance? Come on, stop it. Where's my weapon? What? Oh, wait a second. Not so good, my weapon is broken too. I mean my multi-tool. What? <laughs> it's broken too, everything. Okay. And I need jelly to start fixing that. More wilding clubs. Yeah, I need the weapons first. Weapon system first. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's all fine. Oh, in the meantime, we reload the jelly as I will need him. I will need it. Don't personalize the jelly. Okay. Uh, back to Exosuit. Break it. Uh, no, back to Exosuit as I want to load all of it. And now we're making two jellies. It's not a very fast process, but I have a lot of refiners uh, on, on my mothership if I need it. Okay, multi-tool, keep fixing. That's the end game in No Man's Sky. Reset galaxy, fix all your stuff. I will know that my multi-tool will break. I will probably change it to one of those that I bought and I'm not using. Uh, magnetic resonator required. Let's craft some. I think I can. Yes, I can. 
I don't know how many I will need. Let's craft five. Repair. Okay, let's do what I need the most. I will definitely need... Oh, that's a jelly. That will need to wait. And I am out of wiring looms again. I need to get a recipe for wiring looms. All the time I need them. Have something repaired. Technology repaired. Uh, what's important? Oh, regular scanner module is probably important. The scanners are actually quite important because this gives you some wrench to your scans that you need quite often. Uh, more wiring looms. A lot more wiring looms required. Okay. I'm limited by wiring looms for most of that, but I should be able to use the weapon now. Oh, and do the save. Do the save. I think that's a manual save. Okay. Yep. Now we can get in. Now we can get in. Okay. And now there will be a riddle. And normally what I do, just in case if something will go badly, I have this safe point. Oh, I do not place it like that. I need to go into... Glitches? What? A new tab? A tech portable safe point. But I like to place it in here. If I mess up, I have safe point inside just straight into it. Okay. And chip template detected Gag Trade Federation. I don't know much more. Okay, whatever code has been loaded on the terminal is clearly the work of some enterprising thief. It appears to be emptying the resource vaults of rare metals. Revert attempt further hijacked revert system? I think that sounds like should work. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many options luckily this time. Don't want that. No, no, no. Learn new recipe. That's the only one useful. And yeah, we can learn both of those. Uh, what's that? Oxygen capsule. That's that's useless. But we can learn some. We cannot learn everything. Star Shield Bashi? Yeah. We need this computer. Yeah, it's not too hard to craft. It's a little bit more advanced, but that's okay. And from time to time, I need those hydraulic hydraulic wiring. But it's using the hydrogen as well. And that's all I can craft. The safe point can go with us then. And extract those nanites. Give me nanites. Cool. All right. Wow, it's a snowy planet. Extreme storm. It is cold. Minus 122 Celsius. Uh, too cold to the ship. Now back to my the hydrogen jelly farm. Okay, put it back. Start the process. 100 put in here. Start the process. Okay, now I don't need to refill it because it's multiplying itself already very nicely. Uh, just need to have enough carbon to do not run out. It will keep multiplying itself. And now I need to go back on the space station and buy those wiring looms and it doesn't look like I can get them from anywhere else apart from buying but we're not going back to the space station in here because there's no point to land there back we progress with the quest to Atlas station and before entering Atlas station we just go and buy stuff to fix where is it going there jump the jump systems are already fixed then that's good.
The movie worker has said that you cannot craft wiring looms. Okay, then I just need to buy a bigger stack of wiring looms. I will not be running out. Yeah, probably you can crash economy with everything that those... Oh, that's... Should I go here first or where is the space station? Oh, space station is farther away. Then let's do this first. I probably don't need my multi-tool fix to go into here. Is it the same like all previous stations? Let's see if there will be any difference. Because I visited like 16 of those. No, not 60. There was like... Six, and then after that was empty. Is it empty again? Yeah, it's empty. I don't know why, but those are always empty now. I think most of them is broken or something like that. Not sure exactly. When I started, there was always like the sphere, like Atlas. And now when I'm coming in here, it's nothing. I was trying to figure out if I should find something, maybe I will check again, but there is nothing I will show you. I ran to the end and it's already should be like Atlas hovering around, but it is not and there is just basically nothing. You see? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing that you can interact with. It's basically empty. Just literally empty. There is nothing here. I don't know why I need to visit them all if there is nothing in here. And I learn how to fly faster when I cannot bash. Just double space bar co is causing him to do the faster jump. That helps to move a little bit faster. Dobra. All right. Let's try to go to the space station. Is this is broken? Nothing in here. Nothing to see there. There is a station. And we are on the back back side of the station. Let's move around. I see the entrance. Come on, you missed it. Go there. The quest marker is still leading to the Atlas interface, but we'll need to just do a random jump and find another interface. Use regular cobalt to crash, crash economy, Mr. Epos. It's like, if you want to earn easy credits, you need to have something that every space station have. It's increase the speed of the process a lot. Like whatever they normally selling on everyone, like wiring looms, as you see, they selling it everywhere. Then this is a good option, but I don't know how many you need. And cobalt is everywhere, ferrite dust is everywhere, oxygen, you can use oxygen to do that if you want to. I tried with sodium, it works too. Like everything that they always sell works, but cobalt have the best value per unit, what means you have the biggest income from cobalt, up to 100 million, about 100 million per hop from uh, station to station. And to do the hops, you just use the portal and hop to old systems and keep hopping. It's very fast, like 30 minutes or so and you will have 4 billion. After you have a good stack. Alright. Now we can continue fixing. Oh, exosuit stopped working. Uh, we can take this dihydrogen. Break the jelly. We have 150 now. And keep working on it. 
I'm spending actually I'm spending uh, carbon, but it's only because I'm using this one. If I will use the uh, extractor, not extractor, uh, refiner on my cargo ship, then it will be free. I don't know where I can use that. Maybe some of the people want it as a gift. It needs to be for something. I don't know for what. Uh, but now multi-tool repair. The hydrogen jelly I will use soon after I will have some spares. Yeah, it's all requires a lot of jelly. Oh, this doesn't require any jelly. Repaired. All right. Like, I have most resources at this point. I just need to keep clicking that and buying the missing parts that I cannot craft. There's a lot of, like, I noticed wiring looms I needed, like, almost for everything, no matter what you're doing. The wiring looms will be required. Uh, seals, I think that stuff I can craft. Okay, no room here. What's taking the room? I don't know. Still have some room in here. And what they wanted from me? Computer? No, what was... I forgot. What was that? Oh, seal. Hermetic seal. Yeah, I have very short memory. Doing something and I don't remember what. Technology repaired. Uh, solar panels or whatever it is. Solar stuff. Do I have that? Oh, yeah. Solar mirror. Oh, two. All right, two. Uh, where I put it? Here. Two. Two of those. Got it. Got it. Then now a lot of jelly. I need to amplify the process. I think I will need to actually visit my freighter. Otherwise, I will not amplify the process. Uh, it will take forever. But we visit my freighter on the different system, probably. We need to jump in order to progress the quest. And I didn't reach a galactic core in the previous galaxy. Galaxy, then that's another thing I have failed to achieve. Let's see if the quest will auto update. Nope. Then we just do the jump towards the galaxy core, and that should fix the problem. Uh, my range is like 2000 light years or so. And then we try to jump in range. That's a little bit too far. That's perfect. I missed something at Atlas. What did I miss? <laughs> need to check component five times before you know what you needed. I don't know what I missed at Atlas. Hopefully nothing important. I never see those things that I supposed to see. Okay, summon it. We need more, more jelly. We'll make more jelly. Must produce the jelly, and problems with dihydrogen will be over. I mostly used all the goo, then I can swap the production for the jelly. Alright. I can I can craft jelly myself as well, but it's maybe it's faster, but from the other hand it's less efficient. Then I just prefer to toss it into those extractors. 
I mean, on this side, refiners will keep going with this goo, as I have some. On the other side, we'll be producing other stuff. Oh, this is actually available at this moment. Do I have any dihydrogen on me? A little bit not enough. Okay, let's grab it from the backpack. The hydrogen jelly. Let's take this one. Let's break it. Can I combine it? No. Doesn't work. Can do that. If I add oxygen, will be will it be more efficient? Usually oxygen works with everything. No, it doesn't work with, with the jelly. Okay, then we do what we can do. That's only one. We need to take... Uh, how much is it? Ten. Okay, now we'll get two jellies. It's working on two jellies now. Slime. Load this slime in here. 1600 nanites for me. Okay, it's working on the jelly. It's going quite fast. Then on the other side, we'll produce more jellies. This one is probably empty. Yeah. Oh, I need to first grab the jelly. Grab the jelly. Oh, I have two already. Nice. Keep producing jellies. Grab the jelly. We'll put both in here. Break it down. And we don't need so much. We need uh, 60 at a time. What? Oh, yeah, now, now it's working. Next one, this is empty nest now as well. Then we can load the hydrogen, start working on the jelly. And in here, yeah, this need to, this need to continue working. It's not done yet. And load the mold. And then take my 1k nanites. Alright, it will take me like a couple minutes, but I will have a lot of dehydro dehydrogen. Now I need to see how the production is going. What's this one? Almost done with the jelly. <coughs> we'll re reload it. And it will produce me more jelly. Do it. And now I think it's 60 is required to make two jellies. Okay, and this is running now. Making another two jellies. Now I think this one is empty. Yes. We have only 40, but we'll, we'll load it as much as we have. This is working. Let's just in case drop a save point. And now the inventory management. Oh, I have repair kits on the starship. Actually, I have more that. I don't know what this is doing. I have a lot of resources I don't know if I will ever need. Like that's that's my issue. I don't know if I will ever need. Maybe I should just put some stuff on my freighter. The freighter have some room. I need to upgrade the freighter as well, but yeah, it can wait. Too much of this stuff. Do I have room in here first? That's easier transfer. No, that's about full. That's not very good. I will store this beacon because I have save point already and I don't need the beacon. And let's move something into the freighter. What I want to load into the freighter. Like one of those go into the freighter. Uh, I will keep my Reaper kits on the freighter. Microprocessors, ion battery. This is something that I can already craft. 
Then I can put it on the freighter. If I will really need it, I can craft this stuff. Uh, this on the freighter too. And this on the freighter. Explosive drones on the freighter. I think this is from combat, I, I bet. I was killing a lot of those sentinels and they are dropping this stuff. And then it's taking all my inventory space. Oh, leaving slime not loaded. I forgot to load it. Yep, I forgot to load it in here. Alright, it's running. And now, oh, it should be done in here first. Yep, to dihydrogen jellies. Start. We're almost good. The duplication is going nice and smoothly. Start and we need to add like 10. Okay, another two is being produced. And this one. Add 10. Look at that. And before I will leave, I will just load some into the producers. That I will be crafting more jellies when I will not be here. Like, I will be doing my quests, but jellies will be produced. That's the point. That's how you use it the most efficiently. Jellies are being produced. I need to add 20. This one will have a longer production now. So I don't want to keep running across. Okay. It's making four now. Uh-oh. No, game, please. It crashed on me again. Not happy with that. I don't know what happened. Last time it was quite smooth. Now the second crash. Was there any update to the game? I don't know about. Maybe I missed something. Uh, I think they want me to have more time to check the chat. Or I don't know what's going on. And task. Restarting again. But if you sell activated indium, you will not be able to buy it back. Then I don't think how it is a good idea to to sell activated indium. Lowering graphics can help. I like my graphics on high details. Like, it's running smoothly. After the game loads, it's running really smoothly. I don't know why it's a problem. Like, I have 144 FPS. You can see the settings. Um, graphics options. Which one you think I should lower? I just skip everything to the maximum. This one? What that is doing? This too high? Planet quality. I don't want to reduce too much stuff. Possibly I will to keep everything on ultra. It only affects GPU performance. I don't have a problem with GPU performance. I don't know which one I could actually row lower to. Have like, should I use a preset? The preset recommends to use lower 
anisotropic filtering. And okay, I use the ultra ultra preset instead of putting everything manually on ultra. Maybe the anisotropic filtering causing problems, I don't know. I changed that. But now back to the jelly production. And 90. We go for free at once now. Only one jelly. Two jelly in here. Here I forgot to load and it's still not loaded. That's unfortunate that this game crashed. Don't crash a gate on me game. I need those jellies. And if the game will be crashing, I will not get jellies. Okay. Those two jellies. Crack them up. Add like 20. I right, 21, 20. All right, hopefully it will work now and it will not crash. In case it will crash, I should probably save because after loading those into those refiners, if this will crash now, the time will still count in even if I'll be restarting the game. Then that hopefully can help me out Game crash could like, keep with it, live it. <laughs> yeah, game crash sometimes. And I don't know what it's causing it, because sometimes I can play for four hours, there will be not a single crash, and sometimes it will be like today. I play a little bit and it crashes. Why not streaming? Yeah, it's the same. It's not related to the streaming. But I'm not streaming, it's it's about the same. Totally random crash can happen. And I don't know what is actually causing it. Oh, and I was moving stuff around. And it's back to my inventory, is it it? Yes, it's back to my inventory. All right, again. And then save it after moving stuff around. All those repair kits and other stuff that is not needed for anything. Should probably sell it instead of storing it. Oh, there's even more. It's explosive drones and stuff I don't need. Freighter, take it, freighter. Mm. That's it from that. And from Exosuit. This stuff, traitor, eat it. Wiring glooms I will actually keep in here, but is it more efficient on cargo? Yeah, on cargo I can keep twice as many wiring glooms. Then those should be on cargo. In the same time, I don't know how important this is. I need to get rid of that some somehow. But for now it's okay. With mostly full stuff. Oh, it's not repaired again? I was repairing that. Oh no, I wasn't. I still duping the dihydrogen. Okay. I wasn't repairing that yet. Oh, the save become. I have some room. I mean, I have couple slots at cargo. Couple slots over there. Let's move this to the starship, actually. Move some stuff to the starship. and walk our brains to the starship. I will have some room in here. Lock encryption key. Freighter emergency log. It's probably needed for something. I forgot for what. Okay. I don't know what this is for. 
used for trading. If it says used for trading, does it mean that it's not actually useful for anything? Just for trading? Then I can just scrap it if it's for trading only. Cannon module now, that's some B class. Scrap it. Actually, I could sell it for a couple nanites, but not too many. Okay. That will do it. Let's see how the production is going. Oh, just in time. It's done. Crack it. Reload it. 120. Go. Reload it. Need to add 20. Start. And this one is done. Oh, I cannot add 20. I don't have so many. Go like that. And now on other side will be ready. Yeah, it's ready. It's not glowing blue, it's mean it's done. And we have four already. 200. No, I will not load 200. I will load 20, 150. 150 now. Go, five minutes. Almost. Now is the save button. Just in case something bad will happen. Save button. Okay, now we finish all the inventory management that I need to do. And I will be ready to go. In the meantime, there is no more fuel. We keep going. And crafting the jelly. Requires 40, you see. Crafting requires a little bit more, but it's actually faster. If I will just do both, like keep crafting. How I can craft so many? What? How I can craft so many? Where is it taking this dihydrogen from? What? What? How? Where do I have it? Suddenly I have a lot of dihydrogen somewhere, I don't know where it is. Okay, I cannot craft more than 41, but I can craft 41. Okay, craft it. Seriously? How I have so much dihydrogen I don't know about, but... Okay, that increased the process by a lot as <laughs> I didn't know where the dihydrogen is but I managed to find it somehow then now I can scrap it it will be in my main inventory yeah perfect okay problem solved problem solved everyone <laughs> I don't know where this where it come from I have no clue totally no clue but I, <laughs> I don't know. Still don't understand this game. I was trying to load it into the refiner. I don't have. I decided to craft it in my inventory. I have a lot of this somewhere. But I was not able to find it manually browsing all the tabs. Then I don't know where it was. Maybe I store it into some random container. Who knows. But I found it now. That's what matter. All those jelly. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. More jelly. And rich. Do I need it for something used for crafting and trading? If it says used for crafting, then I should probably keep it. Everything that says used for crafting, building, upgrading, refining, trading. Yeah, if it says that it has use, then I keep it. I 
crafting upgrading then quad servo is used for something storm crystal is used for some crafting walker brain is used for some crafting then we don't know for what but herox is used for some crafting and this is used for crafting yes this is used for upgrading something looks like everything is used for crafting then I cannot scrap it because it's used for something okay but I finish with the jelly now I can just properly load those refiners they can hold how much 10 then I can load 300 into each 300 of dihydrogen into each 300 stack size of 300 that will be for the future as I will need this dihydrogen at some point okay I will not count exactly I will just go close to 300 it will be faster Close to 300 dihydrogen. And one more spot. Oh, save beacon. Save it as often as possible. That's the lesson from today. Move faster. Take the jelly. 300 of the dihydrogen. And then we'll be back and we just scrap it and there will be nice huge portion of that to the ship now. Alright, here we are. You out of the hydrogen because you use all for frigate mission. Are those frigate mission worth it? I sent it once. I have only one frigate, by the way. Uh, it was not much useful stuff, and I didn't bother from that time. You can buy it. I was trying two systems, and they had none for sale. That's why I decided to craft it. But servers for fuel oxidizer, okay. Freighter fleet mission items, all right, good to know. Maybe I will care more about those freighters later. And now, okay, that required this jelly. I have a bunch of jellies now. I will use it and remaining jellies will be scrapped. Right. Yeah, multi tool fixed. Uh, Starship, I think everything is fixed. It's perfect. Exosuit. Oh, exosuit. Now, exosuit is fixed as well. Everything is fixed. And we need to scrap all the remaining jellies. I don't want the jellies to take so much space. I can craft them any moment. I will need them. And any more jellies somewhere in my inventory? Taking space? No, I think I scrapped all the jellies. Now it's good. I get rid of the jellies. I repaired all the inventory. Now we need to take a look again on the log. The Atlas Path. says speak with the atlas for that we need to open the map let's see the quest updates or do they want me to go back okay it doesn't 
Does it show me in the location that to go now? That's not good. I jumped from the other system where Atlas was. Now I don't know where it is. It doesn't want to update destination. It's showing me the way to the galactic core. I don't know where I, I lost the Atlas. If I go back, will I see it? It does not look like. All right. No clue where I'm going now. Do I do the random jump and it fix itself? Maybe. That's okay. Let's make sure it is selected. Then we do a random jump towards the galactic core and let's hope it will fix itself. If not, then I don't know what I should be doing. It looks like this is the way towards the galactic core. Let's jump there. Oh, I think I can craft a trade terminal. But I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, Mitzi is not a big fan of No Man's Sky. She said that it's too boring. Oh yeah, I can use teleported. It just still says speak with the Atlas. But there was no Atlas in this previous system. That was the problem. And this system has nothing. Not even a trade station. It was a bad jump. To use teleporter, we need to find something with a trade station. Okay, then let's just jump farther. Okay, this system seems nice. And we use teleported. I don't remember which system it was, but yeah, we'll find it. We'll find it. Need to be still somewhere on the recent list. Still just says speak with the Atlas. The Atlas was not in there. That was my issue. Atlas was not in there. Oh, the terminal that you can build usually sell dihydrogen jelly. Okay, then definitely I need to, to craft one. First, we are going to check the portal. And I can talk with locals. Maybe some of them want this junk that I'm carrying. They sometimes ask for some junk. Like this one looking for Viking effigy. Then sometimes this junk is actually useful. And here you can ask him for a free symbol. And this guy. Do I have some gifts for him? Oh, that's the guy for hire. No, no, I don't want to hire you. Go, go. Let me go. Research entity. Do they still another guys for hire or those just random stuff? Oh, Corvax casing. He can take that. And he's happy about it. Oh, you can take more. Yeah, take all this junk because I don't know what to do with this. Okay, I don't have more. And give me one free word. Like, this, this system with learning those words. I wish there would be a system to like learn all at once. To stop learning word by word and just get all the vocabulary. Okay, uh, portal. Previous system. Uh, this one? Was it this one? Or this one? We'll see. We go to this one first. If this will fail, then we go to previous one.
Talk to Polo? Okay, then I should talk to Polo to find another atlas. Okay, then I will talk with him. Oh, another milestone. There's a lot of milestones in this game. I always unlocking some new ones. Okay, then we check outside. If there will be nothing, then we talk with Polo. Is there Atlas here? No, that's not the system with Atlas. Oh, no, there is. There is something on the map. Let's try it. If not, then we talk with Polo. If Atlas is not there, then we talk with Polo. I don't know why those are empty. This is very confusing for me. Like, why are those empty when I supposed to meet Atlas in every single one? Yeah, it's still empty. And then I don't know why I'm even landing in here. It's nothing. It's totally empty. No atlas. Should I speak with Polo about it? Or did I actually miss something? Okay, let's run again, but I don't think I will find anything else. Let's look at that. There's nothing. That's the view from from the sky. And there is nothing. Nothing I can interact with. Should be the Atlas projection, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Atlas seat chamber? Oh, I missed that. What does it, that is doing? Oh, it did something. Oh, and another one is lighting up. Okay. I need to touch every single one. Okay, I missed something then. It should be a quest marker like in Fallout. How do I know they want me to interact? <laughs> interact with some Atlas Seed Chamber. Or they need to do something to make those objects that you can interact with more visible. So I'm just running blindly what I notice and I'm touching, trying to touch everything to figure out what is working. Okay. And last one, something will happen. What now? Oh. One heart of the sun required. Heart of the sun required. But I used one, I had one Heart of the Sun, but I used it to craft, to craft this Remembrance. Then I need another one now. Okay, that's a complicated craft. I don't know if I have all materials with me. As Heart of the Sun is this one that requires every single previous one. Okay, then we craft that. And we go step by step now. And we hope that we have all the resources on the way, but we don't. Ionized Cobalt not on me, but maybe I can... Oh, I have on Starship. What? Out of range? What's the range of my Starship? A little bit farther this way and I'm out of range. Okay, let's move closer. And that will fix it. I cannot move across this. Am I close enough? Yeah, I'm close enough. Okay, then we can continue. Craft another ball and craft another one and craft another one and another one and another one another one 
another one and the last one heart of the sun okay i did it hope will i need more heart of the suns or this is just this one exception that i needed hopefully one exception so i don't know if i have resources to keep crafting this stuff all the time done and something happened I stand at the interface of the atlas. I stand at the forge of words. This is how it showed me what it was. This is how the atlas shared the nature of its life, the working of its mind. It never required prayer. It never required worship. All that it asked of me, all that it ever wanted, it was just input. I was just a user. Unbidden, the Atlas seeds gravitate towards the doorway. The void is meant to be filled. Nothingness yearns for a soul. If I do this, a star will be born. If I do this, I will become more than I ever thought possible. Birth a new star? Okay, I want to give a birth to a new star. There is nothing and then, then there is everything. I see a star blaze to life within the void. The spread of life, planets, creatures to give it meaning. For a moment, I'm as the Atlas is. For a moment, I'm the creator of words. The fabric of time and space stands revealed to me. Black holes swarming from system to system. The Atlas screams. New technology discovered. Star seed. Priceless fragment. The smallest of sparks housed within a containment field of unknown origins. The seed glows with life, desperate to escape and fulfill its potential. It requires platinum, tritium and gold. I have no clue what this star seed is doing, but sounds cool nevertheless. The smallest of sp the seeds... Okay, it doesn't tell in here what it's doing, uh, but we, we can craft one. Why not? Let's do the star seed and let's see what the star seed is doing. Where's the star seed? Is it a technology? Uh, technology? Oh, star seed is a technology. Okay, make one. Star seed. Now I have Remembrance and I have Star Seed. And why do I even have this? It doesn't say what it does. Like the same like Remembrance and the Star Seed. Both will not tell me what they're doing. And taking space in my inventory, that's a downside. Let's reorganize it a little bit. Okay, let's put Remembrance here, Star Seed here, and my passes. And yeah, less and less inventory for me. Like technology and those cards are taking all almost half now. Yeah, it's filling up quickly. I crafted it. Objective complete. Yeah, I built it. Uh, the Atlas Path. Reach the Black Hole. Okay. Back to the Starship then. That's my ship. Oh, there was a lot of clicking there. You need to save. A lot of clicking means you want to save.
Okay. Now what the quest want me to do? Map? Where is the black hole? Oh, something is there. Alright, I see it, I see it. There we go. Oops, too far, black hole. Here we go, there is some progress. Can get rid of Atlas Pass V2? Okay, the black hole. They want me to go into the black hole again. No, I cannot, cannot use the drive. And we just go naturally. Black hole. Here we go. That's my another black hole. I don't even know why I'm going through those black holes, but it's fun. <laughs> going through the black holes is cool nevertheless. Where am I now? The same galaxy, then it didn't throw me into the different galaxy. What? Why is my technology damaged again? Why are they breaking my stuff? Stop breaking my stuff. Is it a standard endgame? Every quest will break some of my stuff. <laughs> I need to keep repairing it. Anything else broken? No. No, okay, that's only one this time. Hopefully I will not need to keep fixing everything every time I do the jump. Uh, what's the quest now? And... Oh, I finished? Where's my Atlas Path quest line? I did it? After going through the black hole, is it over? I don't see my quest line. Okay, there's no quest line. I think I did it. Don't know what it's what it's giving me. And what happened exactly? I went through the black hole. I think I'm. Oh, there is something going on. Another black hole, probably. Do they want me to keep jumping through those black holes and breaking my stuff? Maybe. Okay, let's try. What's in there? Okay, will it be like black hole after black hole? And what is it giving me when I jump through it? Am I, oh, I should check map. Am I getting like closer to the galactic core? Yeah, that's another black hole. I'm 684,000 light years away. Let's see if I will get any closer after this jump. I want to get a little bit closer. 684 light years away at this moment. Let's see on the other side. Star seed links with shields? I should have it with shields. Oh. Black hole breaks one random thing in my ship. Technology now the drive is damaged. Okay, where did I end up? I think I'm closer, like about five thousand light years. Yeah, something like that. 
Okay, now the ship is broken again. What broke? What is broken? Oh, this. Okay, the seat links with shields. Okay, let me see that. Oh yeah, it, this it does something. Then I need to rearrange that then, as I want those seats next to the shields in this case scenario. My technology is already linked. I mean, there's just three shields. Should I put seat in here? Um, how do I rearrange that? Okay, let's move the technology to put it into better combination. Move it in here, move it there. As this is different and it's not connected with those anyway, I think. Let me check again before I... Re yeah, it's not connected. It's different, it's not connected. Then I can take this Remembrance and put it here. Oh, that's do not link. Only starships. No. Okay, it does not link with shields. It link with itself. But nothing else. Then I don't need to rearrange anything. All right. Rearranging will be pointless. It doesn't actually link with shields. It's link with itself. The seed with seed. And stuff is getting broken. Now my log is still about the space anomaly. Whenever I open map, will it show me another portal? No. Okay. It was the second jump, and it's, now it's not directing me into any portal. Then we need the space anomaly. Summon it. Oh, hostiles. I like hostiles. Let's wait. Where are they? I'm ready, hostiles. Hostiles subspace count. Because I have good cargo. Oh, I see them. They are indeed coming here. Uh oh. Not this gun. This gun. One is running away. Got them! And I have standing increased. I don't know if it's how good it is or useful, but I bet if it's like followed, I need to f I need to farm my standing. Okay, get in. Oh, with this. Tars installed. I can see black holes on the galaxy map. Okay, what is the use for the black holes, guys? Anyone know? What's the practical use for those black holes? As apart from damaging random random stuff in my in my starship, it doesn't look very awesome. Why is it everything shaking? What's going on with this anomaly? It's true anomaly. Everything is shaking. Maybe it will fix itself. Shaking a little bit less. But still shaking. Oh, it stopped. Do I have anything that I want to buy? Uh, yeah, I have the trade terminal already unlocked. There's health station, whatever it's doing. Recharge health. I don't think I need to recharge health. Some teleporter. Short range teleporter. When wired to both, a power source and another short range teleporter allows near instant travel between nearby locations. No clue what this is doing. I have the big teleporter already. It's like what? Across my ship? Across my base? Need to be doing something, but I don't need it. Uh, I think I was saving. I don't know for what. Oh, this Ant antimatter reactor that I wanted to build, and this required those storm crystals I was saving. 
then I still need more salvage data. Then next time I will be on the planet, I will figure out the salvage data. Now, do I have the quest active? Speak with Nada and Polo. Yeah, good. Because I was here last time and I think I spoke with Nada and Polo, but as quest was not set as active, it did nothing. Nada. Okay, let's tell him about Atlas. Tell me, traveler, Nada choose not to hear. <laughs> you are welcome both our home. Leave Nada to peace. <laughs> he does not want to talk with me. Okay, what now? Polo. Which one is Polo? Are you Polo? You Polo. Tell Polo the truth. Uh, they don't want to know about it. Explore the new reality. The technology blueprints or new blaze parts aboard the anomaly. Undertake mission with other travelers from the Nexus or exchange discoveries and rare products for nanites. Uh, it it's look like very generic stuff. Then did I finish the quest? Probably. As I don't see how I can complete that. It's more like you can do all those things. What is that? I have another quest. New beginnings. I accepted the guidance of the Atlas. What choice did I have? I'm part of the Atlas. I'm nothing without it. A new galaxy awaits. Enjoy the journey. Uh, that doesn't look like an objective. All right. I missed something in here. Oh, can I teleport myself to the previous galaxy? If I want to. Euclid Galaxy. No, it's all Euclid Galaxy. And I cannot fast. But what about my bases? With yeah, I still have them. And those are in previous galaxy. No, this is Euclid. Oh, the previous galaxy does not exist now, or what? Are all the galaxies exactly the same then? Maybe. It's all Euclid Galaxy now. Okay, I have an idea. Is there a teleporter still? I built this base for a reason. It should be teleporter. This is underwater base, good ship and shops, my camp. Uh, let's see that. reset so many times. Black holes are shortcuts through the galaxy. Okay. They randomly teleport you. Okay. I'm at the end game. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, the portal is still in here. Okay, let's try to use it. I don't have any address in mind, I just want to see if it's working. I don't want this planet's address, I want to activate the portal. And now the sequence, I don't know the sequence. What happened if I just press one button? 
Atlas error, corrupted, but it's still working, okay. Then if I put wrong address, I will get somewhere. Okay, let's jump in. <laughs> let's get a wild ride. I don't know where I will wake up. Let's go. Random destination. There are 256 galaxies? Oh wow. That's a lot of galaxies. Hello Walking Dead girl. How are you doing today? Okay, I teleported somewhere. That's interesting stuff. I cannot open map here to see. What's that? Portal base. Oh, someone made a base to mark the portal on this side. Okay. The portal base. Uh, what's over there? The last base of planet. There's some people bases. Oh, what's that? Monument. Boundary failure model? What? This monument commemorates the historic meeting of Kutenjio and All Might on. What is that? Alright. No clue there either. Uh, planet seems to be cool. Uh, is it kind of a plant? All right, let's see where are we? we need to get on orbit to see where are we I put a random address and I add that up in here All right, that's the space Last base something Shows the portal on the map. Portal. Okay, the portals are tagged actually. And that outpost. Where are we on the map? Oh, we're close to the galaxy core. What's in the core? We are randomly get really close to the galaxy core. I need to know what's in the core. Now we go to the core. Where is the core? Somewhere this way. This is in range. Jump. We are going to check what's in the core. I was always curious what's in the core. Oh, is monument something rare? I just found one. I don't know what it's doing. I'm going to the galaxy core. Galaxy core. Going to find it. What's in there? Hey. There is nothing. Is it the core? It's not exactly zero, it's empty. Hey, the galaxy core is empty. It's emptiness. Okay, then is it as far as I can go? What's the point of going in here? I was hoping there will be something special there. Am I at the core? Is the galaxy core just emptiness? I was trying to get there to see what's in the galaxy core for for nothing. Uh, there is still some location farther. Want to go? Oh, there is something. Okay. Whoa. I missed it. Then this bright star is the galaxy core. I want to jump there. I can't? What's wrong? Hey, I lost it. There it is. Why cannot go there? Okay, um, go there. Okay, let's try to mark it like that. Uh, come on. This is like 
so bad, but... Oh, something is going on. Ah, oh, Hypertrap has no fuel! <sighs> not now! Not now! We are on the quest, not now! Uh, fuel, Hyperdrive. It does have fuel. Does it need to be fully charged? Okay. Luckily, I have fuel. Again. Again. The core. I want to speak with the core. Alright. It's charging slowly. Will use full tank or what? And... Did I went to the core? I'm going backwards. What's going on now? No, I don't have a living ship. I don't actually know where to get it from. You good. That's awesome walking there, girl. No, I don't have any list of updated mods or maps. I reached the galaxy core and I'm going backwards. Don't know what's going on. Oh, in the earliest days of the multiplayer, you could make the monument to commemorate the meeting? <laughs> That's crazy! Transfer your technology into your technology slot before you jump? What? I just wanted to see what's in this galactic core. First time I reach the core like that, and it's the same animation like... The same animation like when I press the reset button. And went through the portal. What's now? New galaxy discovered again? Hilbert Dimension. What does it do? Okay, I'm totally missing the point. What's the benefit of discovering new galaxies? Like, if you are bored with one galaxy, you can just jump to another one, but the another one is the same like a previous one. Right. Hard to tell what's going on, really. Did I just broke my ship again with all the components? Does it mean that I broke everything because I decided to jump? Dakota Minor. Why is there critically damage? Is it all critically damaged again? Uh, multi tool. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Not that again! Everything broken! Oh wow. Not that! <laughs> Why I did that, I don't know. Uh oh. We'll die. Okay, where's, where's my sheep? I have everything broken. Not, not this. Summon the sheep. I'm freezing to death. Come on. Starship. Come in here. Freezing to death. Come in here. Okay. Alright. I think I missed the point of breaking all my stuff for no reason. <laughs> Second time. Second time I just broke everything. You used empty ship to jump. Just beat the game twice in a row. <laughs> How many hours? I, I think I have 40 hours total, but this will be like at least eight hours when game was open and I was doing something else. Then maybe 30 something hours.
Galaxy Adventure 256. Yeah, I I didn't even choose any address. I just press the first symbol. It says error, address not correct, and toss me next to the center. Buy a void egg from the Quicksilver guy on the anomaly. I don't think I have a lot of Quicksilver and I don't know how to farm it. Yeah, I did it for size. In the past it was tricky to go back to Euclid. Okay, there are different galaxies, different stuff. Okay, I got it. But why I'm breaking my ship just to see different galaxy? Then I'm not getting that. Oh, seriously, I need to fix it all now. Everything broken, even those fresh seeds. And I need to craft another heart of the sun to fix this remembrance. Oh, wow. Need Heart of the Sun to fix that. That's some crazy stuff going on in here. Okay, I have no choice. I need to start fixing that. Let's put it over there. Start fixing that. Then we craft that. Then we craft that. Then we go for yellow. From yellow to green. From green to green. From green to purple, from purple to different purple, from this to orange, and from orange to different orange, and from that to blue heart of the sun. Okay. Now we can start fixing. Oh, I should probably fix Starship basic systems first. I will not fly anywhere. Okay, the basic systems are fine. The Additional systems are broken. Antimatter. Craft. That's uh, my antimatter. Repair. Repaired. Shields in case of any pirates. Yeah, I really should use like an empty ship to for this jump. I didn't realize that would break everything. I wanted to see what's inside the galactic core. I didn't want to... I didn't actually intend to jump to a different galaxy. I wanted to check what's inside the core. They want you to go to the core and then what? <laughs> and then break all your stuff. Okay, I don't have wiring looms. We need to go to space station. Again, visit your old friends. They always want me to visit my old friends. And then I will jump again and it will break everything again. Okay, space station. Then I will try this living ship if someone will tell me how I get Quicksilver. As you said, it's required. What's the Quicksilver and how you earn it? That's what I need to know. Couple nanites. Now resources. I need those. All 76 I'm buying. Oh, wrong button. I'm buying that. Okay, I bought all the 76. And the other stuff I can craft. Then I have 76 of those. And I can start fixing. 
repair all the components. Oh, I can right click to get back to repairing another one quickly. Okay, I need the processors, microprocessors. I can craft two. I will probably need those tubes soon, then I will craft them already. Craft five tubes. And in this empty slot, let's craft like at least one this seal. And let's see what we'll need later. Oh, unfortunately, here I will need another, ah, uh, another cube. Those cubes are not lying on the streets. Component repaired. We get it. Uh, another hy hy hydraulics, hydraulic wirings. There it is. Batteries. I actually need more batteries. One. There's another one. At least two batteries. Okay, it's going faster than last time as I know what I need to repair. Still, okay, antimatter. Almost done with this page, but it cost me so much resources after I do that. Okay, those are not broken. Then what I have on the technology tab is not broken. Which means that I should take the cheap stuff out like this, for example, and try to put those translations somehow into those technology tab. Uh, but, oh, there is not so much room. Okay, it's pointless. The translators need to be out. It's not enough room. Then I need this Corvax converge cubes whenever I want to jump somewhere. Seriously. Maybe I should hide remembrance on the inside. And the star seed. I don't know. Oh, don't jump again. <laughs> don't jump again through this stuff. That can be a viable solution. Nanotubes, dihydrogen jelly, wow, again, everything. Craft some nanotubes. Craft some dihydrogen jelly. Where is the jelly? Jelly, I need a lot of jellies. Then let's do 10 and go for the fixes. Repaired, repaired. Ah. Magnetic resonator. Where is the magnetic resonator? Uh, missing ionized cobalt. Ionized cobalt. I need to ionize some cobalt. Load the cobalt. Where is cobalt? I don't have cobalt. How that happened? Cobalt. They have cobalt. Oh wow. So much fixing. Start. Oh, the repair kits. Oh, I have the repair kits. I have couple on my freighter. Then I can replace the cube with a repair kit. Oh, repair kit and available. If this will be available, then I will press E. Okay, got it. Then on my freighter, I will be able to fix that with a rep repair kit instead of this cube. That will be awesome. And Okay, uh, Starship almost fixed. 
Let's need a couple more pieces. The last engine. Okay, the engine fixed. Everything on Starship fixed. And we continue with the multi tool magnetic resonator. I was going to build one. I have only enough for one so far. Most of this stuff is really cheap to repair. Just couple is. Okay, resonator and computer. Ionized cobalt, take it out. Ionized cobalt, here we go. Should I craft more than one? I don't know. Where is this computer? Oh, I can't craft it? Oh, there it is. I don't have antimatter. Okay, let's craft a couple of those computers. Antimatter, five. And let's do five computers. No? Missing components? What am I missing? What am I missing to craft more? Microprocessor. Okay, I need to craft four microprocessors. Four, and then I can top up that. All right. Keep fixing. Oh, those two, not one. Okay. Almost done with the fixes after the latest jump. The tubes. Another five. Ah! Another is a nature. How many of those I will need? Do four. Uh, battery, always something. Do five as well. Good that I have a bunch of those jellies now. Almost there, almost there, guys. Couple more technologies that is broken. You would think that S class would be expensive if it's fixing, but mostly it's cheap. Okay, mirrors. One mirror. Oh, two mirrors, of course. When I craft one, it's two. Okay, multi tool repaired, Starship fixed, up and running, exosuit repaired, apart from the translator, all good. Save the game. Restore points saved. Now let's get outside, or maybe first. Let's see what kind of multi-tool they sh selling, because I'm still looking for some cool multi-tool. But usually they selling just some normal stuff, nothing special. Like what this one is. I think it's normal. If I compare it, it's another rifle, but not upgraded. I just have upgraded rifle, I will not replace it for non-upgraded rifle. Can I buy something new with those guys? No. But though I jump the galaxy, they do not offer anything new. Good 
you have the good word to give up. I'm not giving cup, guys, don't worry. Don't need my translation for much longer. Why? No, I wasn't doing any Elite Dangerous guides. Hello, Bobby Fan. Uh, Alright, where are we, by the way? Again, about 680,000 light years outside from the core, then it's always toss you far away from the core. But you can grab the portal and go straight back in, but it will break everything. But you can keep jumping if you want to. But no one would know why you would like to do so. Like, I don't see any point in keep jumping. It's The destination is usually back to the core, but we don't want to go back to the core. For a moment, we need a freighter, as there is a Reaper kit. And then we need to figure out how to start the living ship stuff. I need this quick silver from something. Oh, multi toilet settlements? Okay. At some point I will probably browse the internet to find where those settlements are. Okay, repair kit. I had it somewhere. Not in here? Oh, repair kit. Exosuit. And now we have repair kit. And we can repair it with a repair kit. Ha! <laughs> Done. And now send the Reaper kids back. Where did I put them? And this should be in cargo, as cargo have double capacity for this stuff. Where are my Reaper kids? I lost them. Oh, there. Back to the freighter, I don't want to accidentally waste them. Alright. That is all good. Now let's see this living ship stuff. Everyone is advertising living ship and I don't know what's that. We need anomaly. Let's see this living ship. For Quicksilver. Oh, Quicksilver from daily missions at Nexus. Okay, I didn't know those are daily missions. I, I saw some missions there. I was thinking that's kind of a like community challenge. Okay, then and Quicksilver from those daily quests. I think those daily quests are in here. Should be somewhere, yeah. For a moment, there was interaction button. Nexus. Okay, quick. Oh, yeah, there is Quicksilver. Specialist. Collect five Hedal Core. Rewards Quicksilver. Start the mission. Delivery agents, one of four. Oh, what's going on? Some other people will be joining here? Oh, I have no clue what we did. 
but there is couple people now. On mission. Okay, we are on mission. And I need head al course yet, yeah, that was head al course. So I think I have head al course on my ship. Cooperate with other travelers to earn large rewards. The anomaly will often warp you to a new system for a mission. Okay, need to be completed in one session. Alright, we'll figure it out. But now, who was selling those living ship quests? Here? That's a living ship trader? Maybe. Quicksilver something. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. Okay. What is that? Explorer title. Okay, I want living ship. Where is the living ship tab? Base building, gestures, appearances, not out all items with building gestures. There is no living ship. So appearances, gestures, with building. I don't think he's selling this quest. Maybe some other guy? What? Mission timeout? Specialist gift abandoned? Also, Hoji. What's going on? What? We fight the mission? I don't have time for waiting or what? Eliminate hazardous flora. It's change. Okay, I need to figure out how to do it. I can do it by myself. I don't think I need to wait for people. And initialize and then start with this hazardous flora. About to be interested on your own. Want to continue? Yes. And now do I need to get to my ship and out? Okay, let's try to do this mission. It's a lot of new stuff for me. I finished the main quest, but I have no clue what other stuff is doing. Okay, I probably need to fly somewhere because there is like short time. Or do I need to use teleport? I don't know. Oh, I'm getting teleported somewhere. And where's the mission objective? Mission started, bloodthirsty plants. And where are we going? Over there. Over there for the Quicksilver. It sounds easy. Kill couple plants. All right, where are the plants? Okay, not the terrain manipulator. My weapon, okay. And no grave? Oh, he will give me the quest. Yeah? Where's my quest? Oh, I need to go and search for it? Split up to search the planet's surface 
and any underground caves. Oh, that's a hazardous floor, probably. Oh, that count. Okay, I need more. The red ones are probably hazardous flora, and there is one it's nearby. Is this this plant? They shoot it. Nope. Still somewhere, something in there. Inside it? Can be inside. Oh, got it. Two, okay. Then it's doing something. Uh, there's a technology module. Terrain manipulator. Where did I lost the technology module? It's there. Salvage data. Yeah, I need the data. Then that's good. Can I kill sentinels instead? Probably not. There's another plant. And another. Okay, then I got it. I know what, what we are doing. Somewhere in there, yep. I don't care about sentinel drones. It's not like they, they can do anything. I will earn my first Quicksilver soon. Just need to find more. Where is the hazardous flora? I found couple. Already lost sentinels. They're pretty damp. Nope. Oh, got it. Six out of eleven. Just need to find a couple more. Nope. Oh, there's something. Where was it? There. Ah, I see it. Seven out of eleven. Go away. He's interfering with my job. No more hazardous flora. I need more. Okay, if I'm looking for that, I can in the same time. Uh, dig those technology modules. And the flora. Oh, there is something. there and it will be underground another module Need a couple more plants nope nothing in here but there is another technology module A 
sentinels are a little bit upset about my operation, but that's absolutely fine. Oh, Robert Kennard. Thank you a lot for joining Tartus Army, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, Robert. Let me check the chat. Uh, I need to buy Void Egg from who? Oh, he sells it? Okay, I will check again for the Void Egg. Three thousand two hundred quicksilver. Oh, that's a lot. See you later, Lord. Now you can ask question if you have a question about Fallout seventy six. That's okay. Flora over there. It's eight out of eleven. That would be nine out of eleven. More flora. Now let's take those gravity balls. Jump a little bit somewhere. We will be fight more flora. More gravitino balls. What are those gravitino balls for? I don't know up till this day. And the point of interest. Nothing in here. Let's see that then. There's some cargo drop. And recharge my shields. Cargo drop. There's carbon. Okay, any dangerous plants? Nope. But there's some um, module again. Almost there. Swap the weapon. Very so deep. Where is it? Ah. How did I lose it? What? We cannot dig? It's there, but I cannot dig? What's going on? Let me dig in there. Something is off out in here. Above me or below me? I'm in the cave. Oh, I found something else then. Oh, those cubes that sometimes I need. That's good. Okay, let's see for this flora. That's dangerous. No, nothing. No dangerous flora in cave? It should be. It's usually attacked by something in caves. Oh, there is something. Mining with a shotgun. Any more? No, 
there will be nothing there. Nothing in there. One more. I just need to find one more. And then we are free. Oh, there it is. Toxic protection is fine. Oh, there's more than one. Okay, it's done. And I could actually dig one more technology module then I will have it done for later. No Wi-Fi signals. There's one that I already visited. Oh, there's Wi-Fi signal. To visit this one and that will be good. There it is. Okay, this time it's working. Oh, four. That's nice find. That should be enough now. Starship launch fuel. Hey, sometimes it can be useful. I don't think I will run so far as <laughs> so I move away from the starship. I will just summon it in here. Yeah. It's here in no time. Okay, now how do I come back? Return to Nexus, summon the space anomaly from quick menu when in space. Okay, they want me to just summon this space anomaly again to go back. No problem. And it has the leaf on it. Best railway rifle? Quad probably would be one of the best options. Anti armor is cool as well. Quad is great because you have 40 shots instead of 10. Oh, position not saved in multiplayer. What? And I cannot save the progress by jumping in and out again. Oh, progress save, position not save. Okay, then progress saved, okay. That's good. Now I, I need to collect my leaf reward. And everyone is farming here this quick silver. Oh, come on. Now how I get my reward. Complete mission. And... Did I get my Quicksilver? I hope so. Tame wild creatures. <laughs> okay, then those quests are like that and other quests are useless. Then only the first one and it's changing. Then you just wait for a new one if you don't like what's there, maybe. Okay, then this guy was selling this egg. Someone told me that I miss it. Let's check him out. <clears throat> Supposed to be crazy expensive. Exosuit backpack. 
all just cosmetic. I have 700 quicksilver, then I think I get my reward. Void egg. This one. <coughs> and I need this egg. It doesn't even set it starting an emission. Okay, then I know now. And other stuff is just cosmetic apart from the egg. Yes. Then I just want this egg. But it will take a little bit of time to earn this Quicksilver. Unless there are better ways to earn Quicksilver than those quests. Because those are 250 each. Then it's not like I can get instantly. Kill 60 monstrosities. Then it's keep changing. Okay, it's keep changing. Next, I want to spend some stuff. Don't get stuck. I was saving for something, I forgot for what, but I was saving 20. Come on, why am I getting stuck? Move! We're saving 20... Oh, I know. We wanted to try what this is doing. Anti-matter reactor. <clears throat> An autonomous barogenesis reactor. This device can be left to harvest reality paradoxes. And I want to harvest some reality paradoxes later. And I have seven salvage data left, and I harvested more than I needed. But uh, there's nothing for seven that I would like to buy. Then that's this done. Or other stuff I already purchased long time ago. And there is some quest objective again. Why do they want me to talk with him every time I jump? Is it giving me something to talk with him? And I try to tell him and he's not happy about it. If I talk with him again, he's still not happy. If I tell Polo that I reset him. Then, yeah, he's not happy either. I can ask him for the coordinates. And for other coordinates, if I will ever need them, then that's what I can do. <coughs> okay, where I can go from in here. I remember there was something else. Here. Why I cannot go straight? I'm getting stuck. It's not a fallout. I shouldn't be getting stuck. Okay, those guys were doing something. Nope. This other guy was doing something. No. And this guy was doing something. Yeah, I think this guy was giving nanites. Give data. Yeah, and he gave me nanites. Can I give him something else? No. Can ask them about their past. And that's it. And this guy. Stop glitching. This guy is doing what? Milestone data. And giving nanites as well. What else can he do? Exchange one gold nugget? For what? 
is exchanging gold nuggets for something. I can buy, buy easily a lot of gold nuggets. I didn't know he wants them. Will he give me nanites for gold nuggets? But I will need to exchange one by one, I, my guess is. Then I don't know if it's worth it. Carbon nanotubes. He gave me... Gave me 10 nanites for carbon nanotube. But this guy is so slow that... Trading with him is not a great option. He will sometimes give me nanites, but... It's really slow. And he doesn't always give nanites. That's everything in here. There's a portal left. And that's it. You can see what mission is available. What mission is up now? Tame wild creatures again. And it's going in circle. Couple different objectives. How do I skip it and I want to reload? Reload. Uh, Reroll the quest. I don't think there is an option to reroll. Just probably need to wait for a different one. No problem, Prince Julius. It's a secret mission, the void egg, okay. <laughs> Most trust this mission is easy and fast. Don't time time consuming. Yeah. Is it a new one already? Or how long do I need to wait? No, it's still tame wild creatures. How fast will it change? Is it a timer somewhere? It was changing, but I don't see any timer. And there's a bunch of players parked in here. The Atlas Path is back, <laughs> but it doesn't do anything anymore, I think. It's just the fact that they marked the black hole, then it's reappearing. Space Anomaly, Explore the Reality, New Beginnings. The, those are not real quests anymore. And those are some secondary missions I started. Scientist research, expanding the base, base computer archives. Hazardous flora again. <laughs> yeah, then it is changing. It is changing. But I don't feel like doing series of those quests at this moment. I'm going to experiment with something. Let's take my my ship for some combat. That's exactly like a combat mission to just shoot something and we see what happened. Let's see this galaxy have a stronger ships. Oh, where did I go? Oh, back to my system? I think I'm going back.
Ah, and we have Costai ships. I see you. Come closer. Rescue the fighters. Where are those attacking ships? I see them. Still too far. Now in range. Ah, missed. Stop hiding. Oh, that's it. They were too easy. Oh, there is one more. Oh. Two left. It's not over yet. And one more left. This one. Transmission. Okay, add this. Confirm transmission. Friend is friend. Gek crew large. Okay. Do you have for me something good? S class freighter, please. Oops. Oh. Somehow I landed through the through the ceiling. That's fine I guess, though my ship is invisible. I will better remember that I parked here. Don't know how I get back on it. I think my ship is there. Hmm. Interesting. That's almost like followed. I I, I feel like like at home. Ship landed under the map. Enemies getting stuck. Invisible barriers. Home. Friend, you get them. Inspect the freighter. Class C. Oh no, thank you. I prefer my class A that I get. Okay. They always pay in chromatic metal. I don't know if I should be happy or what. <laughs> Sexy head case. Thank you for five bucks. You caught this very last stream. I will expose it if you don't listen to my demands. Wine, pizza, time. I cannot give you time. That's the thing that you cannot get. You cannot buy time with any money. Okay, where is my ship? Is it reappeared? No, it's still under the map. How I enter it? Nope, I can't. Hmm, that's a problem. You want to enter my ship? I can buy any other ship, that will work. Hello, friend. Will you sell me your ship? Is my is currently not available. I will buy it. Thank you. Fixed. I have brand new ship, class C. That will be amazing fighter. Look at this ship. The best one ever. Now we just need to go to this trading outpost. Oh, those planets are really close together. It looks like they're touching each other. And we'll sell the ship. I mean, scrap it. And that will fix the problem.
Now we scrap the ship to fix the bug. Scrap the ship. Claim scrap. And we need to get rid of those class C modules. Okay, and we earn over 100 nanites. Unfortunately, whenever I do that, I'm getting my ship that was my first ship ever, and it's not upgraded yet. Then I'm not getting back my ship that I want to use, I'm getting my first ever ship. That is cool, and I want to upgrade it to a proper fighter, because it's good, but it's class B so far. Oh, that's my freighter, I think. Yeah, that's my capital ship. That's good. Okay. And hopefully my main ship is nicely parked somewhere in here. Uh-oh. Did I lost my ship? Not in here. That's not good. My ship disappeared. I think that's a hardcore difficulty. Disappearing ship. Have my main ship still. But this little one is lost. Good that I have the codes in video in case something will go really wrong. Okay. Nevertheless, I'm not too worried. That's only the ship in No Man's Sky. Luckily, it's way easier to get stuff in here than it is in Fallout. In Fallout, you grind for who knows how long. Here you just go back where you took your first ship and you take another one. The upgrades are a little bit more painful, but that's that's okay. Now I want to add this trading terminal and this new tech that I bought. The new tech will be where? No, not the portables. General tech. No, oh, that's a trading terminal. This we put in here. And refiner, refiner, appearance teleport, salvage capsule. No, that's not the new stuff that I already have in here. That's this. No, I'm not looking for that. Okay, not this tech. Specialist farming terminals. No, I bought this extractor for antimatter or whatever it was it's not in here traction research unit portable refiner safe point nope need to be in general teleport salvage capsule terminal medium large appearance teleport it's not in here just not in here okay it's not under tech, freighter parts, nope, that's not that, decorations, I don't think so, glitches, what, I can just place it here like that, lol, that's absolutely normal, nothing to see in here. <laughs> Lights. Mm. I don't know, there's no more stuff. Maybe you cannot build it on the freighter? Is it a storage? No. Storage unit are storage units.
Okay. I don't know where this new stuff. But I have a trade terminal at least. What it allows me to do. Can I just sell it by cobalt? Oh, it's barely have anything in it. Selling some drop pad coordinate data? What's that? Properly decrypted, we reveal the location of a drop pad containing exosuit upgrades. Okay. Uh, dirty bronze, metal plating, starship launch fuel, microprocessors, ammonia salt, copper, sodium nitrate. It's not much stuff to be honest in here. And it does not sell anything that's important. Okay. It's not great. The other stuff cannot be built. Hmm. I build that. What I want to do now. I lost my ship. I wanted to do something with my ship, but it disappeared. It should be parked there, but it's not. Should be in here, but it's not in here. All right, we'll see if this will reappear next time. For today, then that will be it in No Man's Sky. So I don't have any idea what I should be doing now. Have the base computer, base archives. Yeah, don't really need it. I still have did my very very first ship though. The little one disappeared. Maybe I will need to grab a new one. We'll see. All right, that's that's enough for today. Oh, save six minutes ago. I want fresh auto save. Yes, I was placing some stuff. Okay, now. I forget it's like online game, but kind of semi single player. <laughs> Need to remember to save before you quit. Okay. Then that will be everything from today's session of No Man's Sky. I managed to actually finish the main quest and I was expecting there'll be something more, but no, <laughs> this was the end. This was all about resetting the matrix and I did reset the matrix. Thank you everyone for tuning in and, and watching me being a little bit confused with No Man's Sky and what I'm doing. And now we have main quest done. I don't know when I will be able to jump again into No Man's Sky actually because on the weekend we are playing Fallout and after the weekend I'm back at work therefore I have less time, way less time to play games then yeah I will be able to carry on with Fallout as usually but probably nothing else until the holiday at the end of December unless something will change but we never know it. Like so far the Quarantine in here only applies to restaurants, not the workplaces. Therefore, everything business as usual. Oh, thank you, Prince Julius, that you love watching me playing No Man's Sky. I appreciate that. Thank you a lot. And thank you, everyone else tuning in. And now I wish you to have a good evening, good night, good afternoon, or good morning, depending on your time zone. And we see you each other in on the Mitzi's live stream I think yeah, tomorrow is Mitzi's live stream from Fallout then see you there guys and for now bye bye